All right, this is gonna be a really uh, shitty attempt at calling out uh, Hill's Science Diet, the dog food. Uh, many vet veterinarians actually sell this dog food, and when you start looking at the ingredients that they're actually feeding dogs, uh, for example, in a couple of their jerky treats, I forget what they are, it doesn't matter anyway, because you don't want to buy them for your dog unless you want your dog to die an earlier, more painful death. Um, one of them says, oh, it's got glucosamine in it. So it's, it advertises that it's really good for their joints. Uh, the second and third ingredients in this are oats and wheat flour. So wheat flour is probably the single worst thing for joints because it's got gluten in there, which can cause inflammation in any tissue in a human or dog body. And uh, dogs in the wild or wolves wouldn't eat oats or gluten, or I'm sorry, oats or wheat flour, because they wouldn't eat fucking processed food. So, sure, there's beef in there, you know, what part of the cow they're actually putting in there and calling beef, I'm not sure, but anyway, so that's garbage, they're jerky treats, whatever they are, those are garbage. Uh, the four dogs that I'm caring for right now all eat this food and these treats, and so they advertise in their dry dog food that one of the dogs gets that chicken is the number one ingredient. Well, why would anything but an animal be the number one ingredient in a dog food? We're talking about dogs. And if you look at wolves and their diet, they eat animals. Maybe some berries here and there, who knows. Uh, but not rice. Again, because rice is a processed food, but and all the other shit in there that you can't even pronounce. Um, stop feeding your dogs garbage. All of the dogs that I'm caring for right now are on prescription medication, and they're supposedly eating the best diet that they could have, says their veterinarian who sells Hill's Science Diet. So, the dogs keep going back to the vet. The vet keeps saying, yeah, do this, do that. Gee, we don't know what could be happening to them. Oh, you're 11 month old dog has um, fluid pockets on his elbows. He's got fluid developing on, on his elbows. Yeah, just put some uh, compression socks on him. That should take care of it. That's real. Um, the other one, he's maybe two years old. He's taken some kind of digestive support thing. The same one with the fluid pockets on his uh, arms. He's taken one or two digestive things and then they're, they've got a, maybe a 12 year old um, miniature schnauzer or something like that. I just feel bad looking at the dog because he just looks like he's in pain. Um, he's always the last one to eat his food. By the way, these dogs don't eat their food except for the big one and this is like a 75 pound or uh, 80, 80 pound dog. He's still growing because uh, he's 11 months old but um, yeah, the old one, he's the last one to touch his food, always. You know what he will eat though immediately is if I give him a little chunk of my uh, burger and that's just with beef and a little bit of uh, either Himalayan or Celtic salt on there uh, or he will eat these uh, dehydrated um, liver treats that they get and it's only beef liver. Oh and he loves raw beef liver too. The owner even sent me a picture of him waiting for some beef liver after I gave it to them one day. There's no more raw beef liver in their fridge, uh, unfortunately. And that dog, Sarge is his name, he looks at me like, I know you know where the beef liver is, so you better go buy that shit and give it to me right now. Um, but he's got growths on him and stuff like that, and it just he just looks like he's in pain. I feel so bad for these dogs. Um, but it's a, and I realize now that I'm getting into my personal side. So Hill's Science Diet, don't feed that shit to your dogs if you care about them. Uh, by the way, chicken, if you think that's a good idea for your dogs or your veterinarians have told you that's a good idea for your dogs, the types of fat in chicken are all inflammatory. So inflammatory, it doesn't particularly sound like a good word, right? So if you really wanna know technically, it's omega-6 fatty acids. There are no omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are found more in fish, um, grass-fed beef, healthier sources of red meat, uh, because 
and I say healthier sources because most industrial or basically any industrial farming is uh, pumping out an inferior product but I'm, I'm in disbelief I've grown up with dogs I've been around them for 35 years now or something like that and have always loved dogs and it really just sucks to see people just keep keep feeding their dogs shit because their veterinarian says to do so veterinarian profits on the food sales and the drug sales and on the visits so bullshit <laughs>